Hi, my name is Tom. I'm the founder of Talon Rescue, and today I'm going to give you a demonstration of the Trek and its ability to cut through thick materials such as turnout gear. So before I get into cutting the actual turnout gear, what I wanted to do was give you a very quick demonstration of how you make an initial cut using the Trek and without the use of trauma shears. And it's a very easy, though not obvious, technique. Uh, and it's something that's also necessary when you get into cutting very thick materials or multi-layered materials, especially if you come across uh, things like seams, which you will uh, quite often in uh, materials like turnout gear. So for this uh, initial demonstration, what I've got here is a, is a pair of jeans. And uh, a couple things I want you to notice is that, number one, I'm not going to use a lot of force in order to make this cut. Uh, it's a, a razor blade that's embedded in the track. So I'm simply going to use the sharpness of the blade to make the cut. And, um, and not use a lot of force. Uh, the other thing is you notice that I'm pulling away from the patient. And lastly, uh, though there's not a patient in these genes, if there were, I would not be using the patient's body as a point of leverage um, uh, or as a, uh, as a pivot point in order to make this cut. So it's really easy to do. And for this uh, particular demonstration, what I'm going to do is uh, cut through the waistband and go right through uh, this seam as well as a pocket uh, and all the way down. And, uh, and again, just watch this, uh, this very simple and easy technique and, and watch how, uh, how little force I'm using. So once you load the waistband into the, um, into the, into the hook portion of the track, you're simply going to use an upward flick of the wrist. Okay? And once you have made that initial cut, you're simply pulling away from the patient. And uh, you know, it's really that easy. So, you know, again, it's a simple, very easy upward flick of the wrist uh, to make that initial cut and something that I'll repeat a couple times when cutting the turnout gear. So here we go into the uh, part of the video where we're going to cut the turnout gear. Uh, so what we're going to do is, is cut the, uh, the arm part here. And uh, again, for those of you that have uh, experience or have... Um, uh, held or worn uh, a piece of gear like this, you know how difficult uh, this cut is going to be and just how thick this material is and uh, just how many layers are involved here. So again, we're going to use the uh, initial cut here to uh, uh, upward pulling motion to make the initial cut. Cut through and then down. And when we get down to here, of course, we've got this uh, the reflective material, which uh, you know, is thick again. So a couple upward pulling motions as we need, because it's very thick material there, and then right out there. So here we've got the uh, uh, the piece of turnout gear, and while we're at it, might as well do the bottom part. So here are the pants again, very thick material, uh, pockets involved here. So I'm going to find a uh, a line to cut. If I can avoid a pocket, I will. So let's uh, let's go right through this portion here, and uh, and here we go. So again, we're going to uh, go ahead and load it into the waistband here. Upward flick of the wrist, down, get into the knee pads here. A couple flicks of the wrist, and again all the way down to the bottom. And uh, just look how thick this is. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this demonstration the truck's ability to cut through turnout gear and also how to make the initial cut and other items that we've, uh, we've covered here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can visit our website at www.talonrescue.com and hope you have a safe day. Thank you very much.